Hey good people, today I would like to answer a question that was asked on my YouTube channel on how to upgrade your PNX from version 14 to version 15. I have just finalized writing this blog post on how to do that. It's on my blog codewithkarani.com. It's how to upgrade your PNX. There you are going to find it. I have written some good introduction there, some notes, some prerequisites, and then the steps that you need to take to upgrade your instance from version 14 to version 15. Now, yeah, there are a few things that you need to note. The first one is that you don't have to change the OS and I have put those notes there. So it's important that you actually go ahead and read this. If you have version 22.04 of Ubuntu, you don't have to upgrade to version 23. And I would actually recommend that you stick to 22 if you are upgrading because that is going to keep your work easier uh, during the upgrade but there is something very important you need to upgrade your node version i know that if you were among the first people to install version 14 uh, most likely you are using node version 16 so node version 16 is going to throw some errors so please make sure that you have at least version 18 and above now in this video i'm going to use version 18 but before that let me show you what i have here let me again as usual enlarge this a little bit and you notice that what i have is if i do node uh, version you notice that i have version 16 so we are going to be upgrading that first to version 18 and then uh, i can also show you that uh, here i have os release you're going to note that i have ubuntu 22.04 so i'm not going to be touching this if also you look at my python version you notice that i have sorry i need to do three here oh sorry uh, exit exit this is a function so if i do python python 3 version you notice that i have python 3.10 so again this works with ubuntu uh, with uh, europe next and frappe version 14 so we are going to stick and retain that so what i should tell you is that the only thing that you are supposed to update here is uh, the node version and then from there we are going to go ahead and update europe next and uh, frappe let me first of all show you where the versions are this is what you're going to be upgrading it's running on here up next 15.pearsoft.com this is a blog uh a link that i had done to when i was doing a video on how to install here up next version 15 so i'm going to be reusing the same uh, domain but you can see of course this is version 14 this is not 15 if you check here you see this is 14 and also from here if you check bench version you notice that this is uh version 14 the payments version of this but we're interested in these two so let's go ahead and get started like uh, the other time i'm going to just place this side by side so that we can easily see them let me see where it's yeah perfect that is it and then i'm also going to do the same thing for this other one and of course the thing that we need here is this one is this this is what we need where we need more space so the first thing that you're going to do when you are doing an update of this thing please make sure you keep a backup of your instance if you don't know how to do a backup uh, i have a blog post on how to do that go to my blog and then go to search just type here backup and you are going to get that blog post so the first thing i want to do here you notice that i'm already in my bench directory so that is the first thing here the next thing is just to update our node version and again if you do node v you notice that i have 16 we want to see 18 there so we go ahead and copy these commands again i like to do this in my videos so that you can see that uh, what i have written here works and therefore it's not supposed to give you any trouble so copy the that command as is put it here run it and then copy the lvm and put it there it's downloading node version 18.19 or 0.19.0 and then you go ahead and set the default to that version and you can see there has been set so now if we do node v 
we are going to get 18 so we are done that's how simple it is to uh, install node version 18 and switch to it and then the next command is basically this one so this command is what takes uh, version 15 so here I have an issue so I need to change this to 15 all right so let me open this in a different place because I just read finished writing this blog that's why sometimes we have these issues but the when I'm doing it live of course you are I'm going to spot that change uh, that and I'm going to change it so if you refresh now it's going to change to 15 so ideally the thing is bench switch to branch version 15 and then you need to specify these two apps and the reason don't don't leave it here because if you do that what's going to happen here is that frappe is, uh, or rather bench is going to try and update everything to version 15 from frappe to ERP next to payments to hr and all other other uh, modules that you could have installed so please make sure that you have specified that you only want to install to upgrade these two and how to do that is basically just copy this command as is and put it here and then run it once we do that that is going to take a little bit of time and then once that is done we will be ready to proceed and of course after that we can see here that the next thing is going to be bench uh, migrate and i also have also given a brief of what bench migrate actually is so we are going to be looking at that uh, so basically you can go and look at that we will not be looking at it actually i'm sorry so go and read what i have written there you can also dig a little bit if you want to understand what my grid does and from there just restart supervisor i've already explained what supervisor does here briefly then we are done so we can see this command is what we are running and we can see here it is fetching upstream for Europe next it just finished fetching upstream for frappe so frappe has been completed and you can see here is telling us that it has switched to a new branch version 15 that is for uh, for frappe so now it's doing the same for ERP next and if that is successful we are going to be having a new uh, the two new versions ready in our system let's give it a few more minutes So sometimes um, the time that this takes may depend on maybe probably your internet speed. So let me see what my internet speed is. It doesn't look great today. I think that's why it's taking a little bit of time. Let me just run this. No, I don't want that. So this is a download of 18 and 21 so this is what is performing like this so probably if you have better internet than me this is going to take much much less time so let's give it some time still of course you know your appearance is bigger than frappe so that's why this one is taking a little bit more changes a little bit more time and also of course when they did an update more of the more more changes are in ERP next than in frappe so it's definitely logically going to take more time here we see that the branch has been successfully changed or switched to version 15 and now it's uh, going to it's, it's it's attempting to install the three applications into our site so we have successfully switched to the branches now it's trying to install them let's give it a few more time 
and here we can see we have an issue of redis let's see whether it's going to give us okay so this is on frappe so we can skip that let's give it a few more minutes to finish installing installing the other applications this is basically redis so we can install redis later here after the upgrade has been has been done it must not be done on the same time as you can see now what this thing tells us is that backup for site that uh, completed and migration it's now doing a migration for our site so ideally a bench automatically takes a backup of course for just in case but like i have written in my blog post just make sure you do your own backup don't depend on this one just do your own backup and make sure it's safe before you run any migration here i mean before you run any uh, any upgrades uh, for frappe or you're happy next then here of course it's now updating the doc types it's done updating doc types for frappe it's now at five percent six seven for year up next so again we give it a little bit uh, more time so that you can finalize and ensure that the blog post actually works and it's hopefully going to make your work easier So here you see that now that has been done and here bench is doing a build so some of these things bench is doing them for us like build otherwise we could have done them manually so build is what ensures that your assets are compiled uh, properly for the current version that you are trying to grab and it's telling us our assets for version 15 don't exist some of those things are just warnings you can ignore them uh, of course we can we can do them so Visa already exist and we'll override just continue confirm that you want to override so just type yes and enter and asking us that just confirm supervisor has been reloaded now after that the next thing that we see on our uh, tutorial here is to run a migrate so i'm just going to copy this command and then the name of our uh the name of our site is this so i like to clean it up a little bit because i know it has other stuff so let me remove that and also remove this this is our site so i'll copy it as this now bring it here and then i'm going to put it here make sure you put the name of your site here when you are doing this so i paste mine and then i click on run so that is going to start attempting the migrate of those two and we can see that that has been successful great so we can close this we don't need this let's close it then we go back to our blog post here and see all the other things so it's just a restart of supervisor so let's go ahead and do that yeah provide my frappe password frappe user password and supervisor is being restarted and that's it so now at this point if we do a bench version you're going to notice that the two applications are in version 15 so we have successfully done that let's go here and check let's expand this and then reload it hopefully it works 
and sometimes uh, it thinks it's it's normally scheduled so if you kind of see an error here just don't panic give it a little bit more time to finalize the the upgrade but the black logo here tells you or rather the black mascot here tells you that we are now in version 15 it was for the blue initially also uh, if you go to help and now you check about you notice that we are now in version 15 and that is how easy it is to upgrade from version 14 to version 15 using this blog post here thank you so much and i hope to see you in the next video